Hello, um, today we'll be doing the part two of split list. Um, let's go over the problem again um, for those who might not have seen the split list part one, I mean solution one. So given the list of integers nums, return whether you can partition the list into two non-empty sublists such that every number in the left sublist is strictly less than every number in the right sub sublist. Um, I think from listening to that problem, uh, we can tell that right max and left max has a lot to do with the solutions in this particular problem. Um, let's look at example number one. Um, so, in example number one, we have uh, nums is 5, 3, 2, 7, and 9. And uh, we can split the list either 9 and everything is smaller than it, or 7 and everything else left of 7 is smaller than that. Um, let me explain the brute force method again, is that we take um, every right number and match it against all the numbers left of it and make sure every number is smaller. And uh, if it is, then we return true. Um, so uh, another solution is that we um, look for the first um, largest number, which is um, 9. And we look for the last smallest number, which is going to be 2. And um, between these numbers here, are there numbers uh, before the smallest number that is bigger than any number that is right of 9? Um, and there isn't. And so this is returns true. So how does that work, right? How is that the case? Um, let me get, draw it up. So uh, let me shrink my video. Um, so here we have a, um, a board. Whoops, uh, let me move this to the left. Um, as you can see here, uh, and shrink that away. Ooh, there's a lot of... Um... So, uh, we see that there is a list. This is the low point. This is the high point. Um, this is not exactly what we're looking for. Let me just do some erasure. And just erase that. All right. Okay. So we're looking at um, this particular, oops, we're looking at a 7, and then it goes up to a 9. Let's just pull this into here, and then it goes up into a 9, and then you get the pointer, take this, and set this at 9. So this is also a 3, 2, so some, something similar to this. So uh, if we get the maximum number left of the minimum number, that is the bar we need to cross. And everything uh, right of the um, maximum number, if it does not pass this particular line, then we're good to go. But if it does, then there is no way uh, for us to get a particular uh, list that is um, smaller than this particular list because this number will be always smaller than the right side, the left side, and this number will always be um, bigger than th this number right of the the list is also smaller than the left side. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, if it does not, I will uh, will come back again and explain it one more time. So, all right. So we're going to find the minimum number and the maximum number now.
then uh, we're going to find um, the particular nums. Then we're going to find the min last min index and first max index. The reason why we want to look at the last min index and the first max uh, index is because we don't want to um, end up in a situation where um, the, 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 the graph is inverted. Uh, what I mean by that is let me just give you a quick drawing. Um, so let's say the max is here and the min is here. In this case, um, there's no way that um, any number, uh, we, we can find a list where every number on the right side is less than a number on the left side. So, so that's impossible. Um, so we want to make sure that we are in case number one rather than in case number two um, and that way we don't um, that way we can skip this issue just kind of playing on my circles here place number two uh, oh you guys can't see number two sorry uh, let me just bring this up a little bit. Whoops. So case number two. Um, right. So um, after that, um, let's see what we need to do next. We can make sure that no number find uh, max of nums left of um, last min index and find min of nums right of first max index. Once we do so, um, we can make sure that these num the return that the max of num of last in last min index left of is less than max min num right of first max index. This is the case which we saw earlier here. Uh, let me bring that up. Oh. This particular case um, where the every number, uh, the maximum number, right left of the min min is going to be um, this particular point and every number right of um, the max number must be greater than this min number okay so find the index. So last min index is equal to negative one. First max index is equal to negative one for i in range length of nums. If first max index is equal equal to negative one and nums i is equal equal to max nums then um, first max index is equal to i so this 
only changes the first time we find the max index. Elif nums i is equal equal to min nums last min index is equal to i. <clears throat> so this refreshes every single time. <sighs> so we're going to find that max number until last min is equal to the max of nums. We're going to start from the beginning all the way until the last min number index plus one. Then we're going to find the min from uh, first max index, which is minimum of nums. So we're going to go from the uh, first max index all the way up until the end. Lastly, we return the max until um, last min index is less than the ma min of the first max index. And with that, we have completed the problem. Um, looks like we have max nums is not defined um, in line 12. So we have a little typo there. Run. Another typo, min nums is not found on line 14. Let's see, anything else? All right, looks like we're, we're good to go. And we have success. So we did this in O of one space and O of n time for the loops. So I don't know if you have any more questions about this, but if you do, please comment below. If you like the video, please like it. And uh, if you want more videos, please subscribe. You can also find more material uh, for iOS development and algorithms in the description below. Thank you very much and have a good one.